Hey guys, Ty Mackia here. I'm on my layover in Dubai and uh, I see that you searched uh, commercial airline pilot education requirements. I want to talk about that for a minute. I'm thinking that maybe you're looking at an airline career um, and you're wondering what the uh, public school requirements are and maybe what the uh, piloting uh, school requirements are. So uh, first of all, on the public school side, uh, every airline basically requires a four-year degree. Now you can get on with the regional carriers with maybe a two-year degree, but when you go to apply for Delta, United, American, uh, one of the major airlines, you're going to need a four-year degree. It doesn't matter if it's history, it could be uh, you know, aeronautical engineering, but uh, it really doesn't matter what your degree is. It just matters that it's from an accredited university. Uh, as far as the pilot uh, education, the ratings that you need, uh, first of all, you're going to start off with a private pilot's license then go with an instrument rating, uh, commercial, multi-engine rating, um, and end up with an air transport pilot uh, rating. That's an ATP. Uh, basically, how you're going to get that is um, probably the best way to become an instructor, certified flight instructor with an instrument rating. That's a CFII and uh, just teach people how to fly once you get that rating and build your hours that way. Uh, you can get your ratings at a local flying school in your area, uh, in your hometown. Uh, one of the best, I think, uh, streamlined processes cost a little bit more, but it's a school called ATP. Um, they're hooked up with the airlines and they teach uh, the crew concept, they teach uh, glass cockpits, which all the airlines have now. And uh, basically what happens there, they take you from zero hours to a certified flight instructor in six months. And then the next 18 months, you instruct for them. Uh, they pay you, I think it's around $2,200 or $2,400 a month. And you build your time. Uh, in the next 18 months, you should have 1,500 hours. And uh, in the meantime, they have gotten you interviews with uh, the regional carriers who have offered you conditional jobs when you get your 1,500 hours. Once you get that 1,500, uh, you basically just go back for a short interview and, and uh, you have your regional job. The pay is not great as a regional, and there are some drawbacks for, uh, for the airline piloting business in general. Um, in fact, uh, I think their starting pay is in the low 20s. Uh, that's not probably what you're thinking uh, is a good salary. Um, you probably would be a, uh, a first officer there, a co-pilot for a couple of years, then a captain for a couple of years, and then on with the majors. Uh, major airlines uh, start you now about 60, uh, mid-60s, and it goes up from there pretty rapidly. So. Uh, that is a, a good pay skill, obviously, but again, um, they're very economically sensitive, and as you know, we all, uh, United, American, Delta, Northwest, all those airlines went bankrupt here in the last uh, several years, and during that time, uh, our pay uh, was cut significantly, we lost uh, one of our retirement plans, etc., so uh, you know, it's something to consider when you're considering that career. Just wanted to let you in on that. Um, one of the things that I wanted to mention that you, you might want to consider, I don't know if you're, you're just looking for um, a career in airlines or just a career in general that pays well. And I wanted to let you know that uh, I have a business on the side uh, with some partners um, that's very lucrative. In fact, uh, between uh, several of us, uh, let's say there's four of us flying here to Dubai, and, uh, and I made probably $220,000 last year, but uh, four of us working in the home-based business that I'm talking about, um, we would make well over that. So, um, if you want to check that out, uh, go ahead and, and uh, click the link below and that will take you to uh, exactly how we do that, some information on uh, how we do that and, and uh, some testimonials. So, wait. thanks for stopping in. I uh, hope you uh, uh, got some good information from the, uh, the video on how to become a pilot. 
And if you want to choose uh, something that may be an alternative for you that you could do right now and a lot less uh, startup cost, uh, go ahead and uh, click, the, click the link below. And uh, I'll see you on the other side. Thanks.